Mr. President, the Fijian Legal Aid Commission is founded on principles of equality and access to justice, the cornerstone of the Fijian justice system that is based on the rule of law. It has been given constitutional recognition under the Fijian Constitution, which guarantees its operational, administrative, and financial independence and requires that Parliament adequately fund the Commission. We work, we work closely with communities through our empowerment and awareness programs so that Fijians who are in vulnerable situations are better informed on their constitutional rights and are able to access and exercise those rights through legal aid. The Legal Aid Commission acts as a catalyst for access to justice for Fijians in marginalized communities and vulnerable situations. We use an inclusive and holistic approach by working with the poor and marginalized, women and children in vulnerable situations, persons with disabilities, persons with special needs, the LGBT community, etc. As the largest provider of free legal services in Fiji, we have opened branches in rural, remote and maritime areas. Our visibility and national footprint has enabled us to now reach out to those who in the past were neglected or left behind. Our current budgetary allocation is one of the highest in the world. There was a 60% increase in funding after the constitution came into effect and the funding has been increasing annually since. To enable more women to access legal aid services, we established the Brief Out Scheme where both parties to the same proceedings are able to secure legal aid representation where the second in time is represented by a private lawyer on our panel of solicitors and the fees for this lawyer is paid for by the Legal Aid Commission. Where the interest of justice so demands, and where the interest of justice so demands, we represent both the parties through the use of the Chinese wall system, especially in rural and remote areas and island court sittings where private lawyers would not go. The Legal Aid Commission also accompanies the Judicial Department to all island court sittings. Unrepresented litigants and accused persons are provided immediate assistance under the duty solicitor scheme. The empowerment and legal representation of women is one of our key focus areas. Through various roadshows and community education awareness programs, we have been able to reach out and empower women who unfortunately have been neglected in the past. Women who are subjected to domestic violence and are seeking a domestic violence restraining order are given immediate assistance with all requirements being waived. Our statistics show that approximately 60% of applicants in domestic violence cases are women. Approximately 43% of women have accessed our advisory services, whilst 36% of women have applied for assistance since 2016. We have also incorporated provisions of the United Nations principles and guidelines on access to legal aid in criminal justice systems in our strategic plan. These standards and good practices are intended to further enhance our services to Fijians. Under the Fiji Access to Justice Program funded by the European Union and implemented by UNDP, we are also contributing towards the achievement of SDGs 5 and 16. With the establishment of specialized units, we are now able to better deal with sensitive cases involving children. This includes the child as an offender or where they may be caught up in custody battles between parents in family law matters, including hate convention matters involving international child abduction. Juvenile representation is another area where the Legal Aid Commission is prioritizing assistance, and for this purpose, we waive all eligibility requirements for juvenile offenders, and all efforts are made to keep juveniles out of the prison system where possible. We also carry out regular and rusted prison and prison visits and have also taken up cases by prisoners who allege ill-treatment and torture and refer complaints to relevant authorities where necessary. Perhaps our greatest achievement in a very short span of time has been the implementation of the first hour procedure which reinforces constitutional safeguards on the rights of arrested and detained persons. The first hour procedure involves rendering legal advice to a suspect within the first hour of arrest being made, noting that suspects are most vulnerable during the first few hours of arrest. We have done this without any support from the private bar, and since 2016 to date, we have attended to close to 5,000 first hour cases. This has seen a reduction in allegations of ill treatment and an attitudinal change in the police force when dealing with suspects, with a shift towards actual evidence gathering as opposed to reliance on confessions. Through the use of technology, and for the first time ever, Fijians can now access the Fijian Legal Aid Commission digitally and receive advice directly through our social media platforms. Ladies and gentlemen, the ability for Fijians to get access to justice have come a long way in Fiji. Through our recognition and mandate and the increased funding, Fijians can now access quality legal aid services regardless of their background. Empowering the vulnerable in society is our responsibility and one of the greatest deeds that we as legal aid providers can undertake. We will continue to be the voice of the vulnerable and impoverished and will continue to provide greater access to justice for all Fijians. Thank you.